everyone, Max Avery for ComingSoon.net and Mandatory here with another Trailer Pick Tuesday. This week, it's The Invisible Man. Alright, here we go, Invisible Man from Universal Pictures and Bloomhouse. This is the new sort of revamp of their dark universe concept where they're trying to exploit the old Universal Monster titles. And of course, Invisible Man was originally a 1930s movie starring Claude Rains. It goes a little bit tongue in cheek and it sort of spawned a kind of a series of sequels in the 30s and 40s about Invisible Man becoming a kind of a spy for the US military. For Dark Universe, which was supposed to launch with The Mummy in 2017, although that film was a dud, they were originally planning on having Johnny Depp be the Invisible Man. But because of The Mummy's failure, they scrapped that and decided to go the Bloomhouse route, which this is a more low budget horror film, straight up horror. It's from director, writer Lee Wannell, who's most famous for films like Saw and Insidious, and the more recent Upgrade. And yeah, and this is a more stripped down take on the idea of basically a woman played by Elizabeth Moss on The Handmaid's Tale and Mad Men, and more recently of Us. And she is a woman who's in a controlling relationship with a brilliant scientist who decides to uh, fake his death and leave her his fortune and then torment her via his invisibility. You could almost call this movie The Gaslighting Man. It would be pretty much the same thing. But yeah, it, it, it looks very taut. It looks like it's a very contemporary thrill ride that has shades of commentary about the way women are perceived and heard and the way men treat women. Yeah, it looks like it could have a lot of interesting commentary. It looks like a really smart take on a classic Universal Monster character. So yeah, this is coming out in theaters February 28th. He's in the room right now, but we can't see him. He's listening. Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself! Come on! Do it! There you are. <laughs> 